Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I just got back from picking my kids up from school. We are all going to hope and pray that they're trying to earn the donuts I promised them for cleaning and vacuuming their rooms and being quiet while I film this. We'll see. Baby Jesus, take the wheel. My kids are psychos, I'm telling you. They have had like this special like half day week all week and then tomorrow, Friday, they just don't even have school. So it's like there's this feeling of like spring break or like summer break on everybody. And so they're all just being psycho, not listening, intense energy, like situation. So anyway, Zen moment. I got, um, I do gel polish on my nails, just like at the Davi nails in Walmart when I go pick up my groceries. Um, and the last couple times I've gotten them done, I've let my kids choose what colors I get. So last week you guys probably saw in some of my pictures, I had that like neon green and then like a silver nail. Andre picked that. And then Rosalind picked this. Um, she said bright orange with silver, every other nail. I still had to have my husband help me pick the colors. I like message him and he tells me cause I might've ended up with red or pink, not knowing it wasn't orange. So, <clears throat> but I think they look really cute. Rosalind did a good job. Um, so the next, uh, and then Brie was the first one that picked and she had like, if you guys saw my nails, like over a month ago, they were like a dark purple blue with sparkles in them. She chose that. So anyways, got those done today. Really like them. What I came to talk to you guys about today though, is K scented melts. Um, Carla thought that it would be a good idea to do a spring, a fresh spring, like clamshell sampler which I think is a great idea too. When I saw her post the scents or that she was going to do it before she even um, put them available on her site, I was like, yes. So of course, like I have gotten more into bakery and I've gotten more into fruity and I really like scents from every genre, right? But I am a freshie at heart. Um, I think because, I mean, this is my thought process on why. I grew up in really hot climates and so fresh scents have always smelled really good to me because I think because I was always hot and sweaty. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but also when I was a kid or like in middle school, oh, my lipstick is getting out of line here. Um, the really popular like perfume scents were like Cool Water and Eternity and um, Tommy Girl, like these really fresh scents. And I've just always loved like the smell of mint or the smell of soap or that's just always been my jam. So I love fresh stuff. I really like masculine too and laundry, um, which all those I feel like kind of play a role in a freshies like blends. Um, so I was really excited when I saw that she posted these and like the second she posted that they were on the site, I went and got one. Plus they're a great deal. So it was, I believe I wrote down, I believe it was 13 clamshells and each clamshell is two and a half ounces. Um, and the, so 13 of them and the sampler cost $39 pre shipping. You still had to pay shipping. Obviously sh shipping costs have gone up so much. So if you do the math, it was actually a really, really good deal. So I have those clamshells to smell for you guys on cold, obviously. Um, and then one of the scents in the sampler was one of my customer creations. This sampler is made up of a bunch of different customer creations. I didn't write down the names of who made what, um, but if you go to her Facebook group, she has posted a name next to every scent of who made it, or if it was just like a house, like if her and her like uh, employees made it or whatever. And then I have, so my, I have some customs here that I made and one of them was chosen for this sampler. So I'll do the customs after. I'm gonna do the clamshells first. So she literally, it was one of these pouches. I am not good at remembering like the size of pouches. I don't know, what is this? A priority mail, flat rate envelope. I don't know. But one of these um, with the 13 clamshells. So I'm literally just grabbing them out and gonna smell them. Most of these oils I probably had, so we'll kind of talk about it. So this first one is called Fresh Start. And this is oak moss and amber, driftwood and flannel sheets. I love the flannel sheets sheets oil. Um, I love driftwood. I've had that. Oak moss and amber is a very, very strong masculine oil in my opinion. Um, I like the smell of it, but it can give me a headache. So we'll see what this smells like here. Ooh, 
See, this is blended super well. The oak moss and amber is there, but it's way in the background. I'd say the flannel sheets is the most forward, but it's pretty equal with that driftwood. Ooh, this is really a different take on laundry because flannel sheets is a laundry oil. A really like fluffy dry one, but not powdery stuck in the back of the throat like gain can be sometimes. Oh man, I love flannel sheets. That is really, really nice. Hmm. Also, part of um, me getting this is to give me more ideas about customs um, to getting the sampler. Also, I want to order cut bags of some of these if I love them because I'm a huge fresh lover, like I said, and I need more fresh scents for spring and summer. So, and Kay's always does super well, super well in my house. So that is really good. A different take on a laundry. If you like flannel sheets, give um, Fresh Start a try. The next one, this one's mine. <laughs> so I'll show you. Let me jump out my customs here. Um, oh, this was my customs bag of it. I've already melted a piece of it. So mine is called Sunset Shores. And it's, um, I had done some customs with that oil Kai. It's K-A-I. It's this really popular, once again, before I got into wax, in the wax world, I was in the perfume world. It's a very popular um, oil and then perfume from this little like um, boutique on the coast of California, Southern California somewhere. And it became really popular with celebrities um, and then kind of worldwide mainstream. Kai is a very, it, to me, to my nose, it's like orange flower and tiara flower together. It's very floral. And so I blended that with blood orange and boom boom cream. So, and I've already melted that one piece because I wanted to see what it was like. And it's really, really good. When I melted it, the blood orange is by far the strongest thing in there, which I I wanted. I wanted this to be like a juicy, beachy, like citrus scent that would play on the orange flower in the Kai. And then that boom, boom be like a really creamy, just a really creamy base, which I think it's such a perfect base for beachy scents. And this is so nice. Her blood orange oil. Wow. I should do more with that. Just a really juicy, delicious, almost decadent orange scent. Decadent in the way of how ripe and juicy the fruit is. So this to me is definitely a fruity floral with the blood orange being the fruit here. Um, and that orange blossom and tiara flower. So it's like a tropical blood orange scent. Really, I think really nice. But once again, it's my blend. So think what you want. Um, okay. When I sniffed through these, there was four that like immediately were my top favorite on cold. I haven't melted them. So this, this one is called Aloha Beaches and immediately I knew I was going to love it. It's Salty Sierra, which I, honestly, I can't always smell Salty Sierra. So whatever, but it's beach type and clothespins. If you guys have followed me for a while, you probably have heard me say that clothespins is my favorite laundry oil of all time. And I love beach type Bobby Brown perfume beach type. It smells like the best sunscreen you've ever smelled. Oh, I'm not really getting salty sea air, but it might kind of smooth out those other two scents together. Holy cow, this is amazing. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, I get clothespins the strongest, but then you get beach. It's like a beach laundry, like liquid laundry soap. Oh my gosh, that's so good. This is, yeah, clothespins, like Bobby Brown, Brown Beach Perfume and clothespins. Like if you bought a scented liquid um, laundry detergent that was scented like Bobby Brown Beach. Wow, that is amazing. Amazing. Um, next one here is called Salty Kiss. And this is saltwater taffy, which is like that candy scent. Red lipstick, interesting. And clean cotton, which is a kind of softer, easier to take laundry for people who can't do too strong of laundry. Oh, wow. The saltwater taffy is very strong here. Yeah, I'd say this is like more than half saltwater taffy. Let me just... Clean cotton kind of plays into it because 
like, so Angela from Wax Melts BFF states, has stated before that clean cotton has a almost fruity, I believe fruity sweetness to it. And I agree. So it, it almost just adds like a freshness to the taffy oil. And I have the tiniest touch of red lipstick in here. We'll have to see how that one melts down. It kind of just makes the saltwater taffy smell more high end, basically. It's like if you made a high end saltwater taffy, like hotel scent is kind of how that smells. So interesting. I think this one, I'm definitely going to have to warm to see its full potential, but that is very unique. The next one here is Smooth Criminal. I like how there's like different fonts on every single one of these. Um, this is Eucalyptus, Avo Bath, and Lemon Curd. That is going to be like a, definitely not smooth. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, wow. Yes, Avo Bath. Uh, I like her Avo Bath because I don't get too much of that like foody lemongrass, but it's probably because it's with the lemon curd. So I get Avo Bath. I get lemon curd. I'm not getting much Eucalyptus on cold. There's a touch of it there, but we'll see on warm. This one is very strong. This is Smooth Criminal is one of those ones, um, you know, where people talk about when they cook something really garlicky or something in their kitchen and you need something to like cut that out of the air. Oh, my dog's whining. He wants to come in. This is perfect for that. So good. Coco, are you okay? Hopefully one of my kids got him. Okay, next is Hawaiian Honeymoon. And this one smells so good. So these are three of her oils, Caribbean Escape, Hibiscus Palm, and Coconut Milk. I have had her Hibiscus Palm oil. I have a um, custom of it that she actually sells um, on the site, and it's such a good one. It is a perfume dupe of, of course, it's going to blank my mind now, but an amazing perfume dupe. <laughs> it's a floral, tropical floral, gorgeous perfume dupe. Oh, man. Yeah, it's so good. I would say overall though, this is more fruity. So this smells, I get the coconut milk and that fruity tropical like blend from Caribbean Escape more than the hibiscus palm. I think a lot of people would like this one, like a general kind of mainstream. Ooh, look, they have, some of them have like little, I don't know if that's just pigment or glitter. Yeah, this is, I mean, I do, I definitely do get that hibiscus palm though. This is kind of like, if you, got like a body lotion that was like tropical, fruity, tropical body lotion. I would say it's like that, but elevated into something more expensive because that hibiscus palm perfume is a like a hot, not high. Some perfumes are like $500 or more, but it's definitely not like a mainstream perfume. It's a little bit more expensive than that. And so you get that vibe from this. I think a lot of people are going to like this honeymoon hideaway or Hawaiian honeymoon. I'm sorry. Hawaiian honeymoon. Definitely a fruity floral, but in a different way. This will, I think, give a lot of people like memories or nostalgia from going to tropical places. Not that I've been to very many. I've never even been to Hawaii, but someday. Kay's okay, card. <laughs> um, oh, the next one is honeymoon hideaway <laughs> right here. Um, the notes here are exotic coconut, calla lily, and butt naked. So another floral, um, fruity, butt naked, I think is like a scentsy type. I could be wrong. That is like a fruity, more melony kind of blend. Ooh, oh, this one to me is immediately more floral, but wow. Mm. Oh my gosh. Is it the exotic coconut? Is that calla lily? What is this? This is gorgeous. I would like this in a perfume for the summer. This is like more sexy than the other one. It's a little more floral, a little more feminine, not as sweet, but still has a sweetness to it. That is like a sexy perfume. Oh man. Exotic coconut, calla lily, and butt naked. Wow. Wow. I'm going to melt that in my room and I might be getting this one in a custom. So I'm going to set the ones aside so far that I might go get customs of. Okay. So, so far, cause I already have customs of my own, but, um, honeymoon hideaway, Aloha beaches so far. I mean, I've liked them all, but 
Okay, this next one is called Sea Swept Blossoms. Pink Watermelon Apricot, Swedish Dream Salt. I love that oil. And Rosebud. Interesting. Hmm. Immediately I smell Rosebud. It's a very fresh petaled rose. Like if you had a rose that you were like maybe rinsing in a sink before you like cut the stems off, but in it's cold water. I don't know. Right now I'm just smelling a very fresh but gentled rosebud. So maybe those other two oils in there are making it smell more fresh and like easy on the nose. But for a rose blend, which I'm not the biggest fan of, I can be a fan of rose blends depending. This smells very realistic. So we'll see. Let me see a child. Hi, Coquito. Come here, my love. Yes, yes, yes. Come here. I know smiles. Come here. You want me to hold you? What you can do? What you want? You come? Okay. Okay, my love. Oh, see. Yes. Look there. Oh, my sweet, sweet. Are you playing with your kids? Yes. Oh, I love you. Okay, yeah. You take a little nap. Okay. We'll do a little beller. He loves when you scratch a belly. Yes, you do. Okay. You take a nap. You've had a rough day, huh? Oh, my. Okay. Okay. You lay there, sir. Okay. This dog, look at Hold on. Do lower. Oh, I'm going to sniff the clamshells. Okay. So the next one I have, I do have one little piece of this melting in my bathroom in there because I smelled this on cold and I immediately was like sold. I will be getting this in a custom bag. It's amazing. Let me start off by saying I think one of my children is killing another one. I love ivory oil. I love ivory soap. I'm obsessed. So this one is called Sky Zone and this is gingered bergamot summer breeze which i love and ivory so this is a very much danny scent oh it's so good oh i get the ivory like right off summer breeze ivory ginger i feel like they all are pretty equal wow it's so good wow wow i'm trying to think what would I put this in? A laundry, a laundry or soap? But you definitely get the ginger bergamot, but that can just add to laundry or soap. Goodness freaking sakes, that's amazing. <laughs> I think I'd end up putting it in a laundry category. Wow. <laughs> wow. Um, I don't even know what to say. This is breathtaking to someone who likes things like me. Wow. Sorry, sir. Are these getting in the way of your nap? I'm so sorry. Oh, he's being a doggy donut. So sweet. Okay. Um, so this was one of the top four that I was telling you guys about when I smelled them on cold that I love so much. This one is called Lullaby and Good Night. And this is Bedtime Baby, Clean Cotton and Downy Blue. Um, now clean cotton and downy blue. I like them. They don't smell bad, but they're not my favorite laundry blends by any means. I do love me some bedtime baby. And this is so good. I think the reason it's all so good together is to me, downy blue is a little, has a little bit of that texture. That's a little bit powdery. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. And then clean cotton is fresh, but not soapy. There's definitely like a sweet, overtone to it in my opinion and then we all know bedtime bath oh my gosh oh this is amazing this one is gentle and soft it literally smells like a baby bath with a clean fresh towel and then you dry them up and put lotion on them and swaddle them this is a really precious scent I love this love this good job to whoever did that one like definitely makes like memories of having little babies. Okay, next one up is Windy Shores. And this is Island Fresh Gain, Blue Musk, and Lever 2000. And I know Blue Musk, I think it's in her customs list of oils, but not one you can get singly, if I remember correctly. Ooh, 
Island Fresh Gain, I do like, but I have to be careful because um, it, it can be, get that powdery texture in the back of my throat and give me headaches, but I love me some Lever 2000. So I immediately get Island Fresh Gain first. I have had blue musk from her. Um, I year not years ago, but maybe a year and a half, two years ago, I got sent like a little piece of it as one of my samples and I like it. This is really good. It's like Island Fresh Gain, just a touch of Lever 2000, but I can pick it up. And the blue musk is like this skin scent that is musky, that leans a tiny bit masculine, but it's really like a beautiful skin scent. That is really nice. I don't like it as much as Sky Zone, but I do like it a lot. It's very fresh air-like. Um, and this one, I actually had melting in Brianna's room because I had to see what it smelled like on warm. And I should probably walk back in there. Part of why I love this one so much is it has caress soap oil in it. And I am obsessed with that scent. I use the bar soap of it every single day. And I keep thinking to myself, I'm going to get sick of that scent. I'm not. I love it so much. When I was a kid, um, I did it with two different um, scents, with ivory soap and with caress. I got like an old body mist bottle and soaked the soap in water in the bottle and tried to spray it on me for body spray. Yes. Ben says she needs like a power charge. A power charge of what? Like of energy. Okay. Like in the middle of cleaning. Y'all have plenty of energy. Shut the door, please. Thank you. Um, so... Just because it has that oil in it and I can smell it, I like probably immediately already love it. <laughs> but this is called Jet Set Janet. And I know that it's called that because the person who made this is named Janet. Um, and you can go see who that is on Kay's Facebook page once again. So the notes here are Swedish Dream Salt, which once again, I love. Black Opium Perfume Type and Caress Soap Type. I do like Black Opium. I own that perfume. I do need it to be like cooler weather for me to use it. Like right now on a rainy day, I can still use it. It's a very sweet, like coffee, caramel, musky, like deeper perfume. And I love it. Um, but very interesting blend, right? Like unique. Swedish Dream Salt, which is like to me, like an aquatic, salty, fresh oil. Caress, which is a soap type. And then Black Opium. And it's fabulous. It is fabulous. Um, I need to go obviously see what it's like on warm, but I get every single one of the things I get. See, when I smelled it the first time I got caress first off right now, I'm getting black opium first off. Ugh. Ugh. Like what? What? I imagined this would smell like a woman getting ready or, um, and it kind of does because you get that, you get that black opium and like, you've just gotten out of the shower using the caress soap. Goodness freaking sakes. Goodness freaking sakes. This is just amazing. I don't know. I am going to have to go see on warm what comes out, but this was, how did this sit in here? This was one of the ones that I, the, he is literally sleeping on the clamshells. He's at, is your mama crazy with wax? Yeah. You don't care. Thank goodness. Huh? You don't care. You just want mama to scrub your tummy. That's it. That's it. As, mom, as long as mama scrubs your tummy and gives you treats, you're good with it, huh? Yeah, it's my widow puppy. Yeah, he's so sweet. Anyway, that is amazing. That's one of the ones I want to get a cut bag of. And then this is the last one in the sampler. And this is called Mystic Waters. I love the color of this one. Um, the oils here are Emerald Agave, Cactus Blossom, and Melon. So I have spoken to you guys many times about her Emerald Agave oil. It's amazing. To me, it smells kind of like a high-end, like desert spa kind of and then cactus blossom is always beautiful and then melon sometimes I said before can turn my stomach a little bit so we'll see mystic waters immediately I smell mostly emerald agave I do get a touch of cactus blossom I think it's the bath and bioworks type cactus blossom I do get it if melon is in there, I don't know, because one of the notes in Emerald Agave is melon, I think, but it's not super apparent. Just like it's not super apparent here, it might just add like a juicy sweetness. I mean, I'm not mad at it because I love Emerald Agave, 
I get probably like 80% emerald agave, 20% cactus blossom on cold here, which is fine with me. This, I mean, it's, it's fresh. It goes in with the sampler theme for sure. Um, so, um, can I take those wax from you? So sorry. Okay. So definitely Jet Set Janet. I'm going to get a custom of Lullaby and Goodnight. Holy cow. Sky Zone. Aloha Beaches. And then I'm thinking about Honeymoon Hideaway. This is kind of like my whatever. I, I just want a perfume of this is what I want really. <laughs> okay. So that is the sampler. Then the customs I was telling you guys about. Obviously, we already went over Sunset Shores that I made. Um, oh, let me do in this bag. She sent me some samples in my customs bag, not the sampler. Um, this is a test scent sometimes she'll put on. Um, and this is called Coconut Shea. Ooh, wow. That could play a similar role as like Boom Boom in a blend. But this could also be a very nice, calm, almost lotion-y coconut because that shea butter. Oh, that's good. Yeah, really nice. I'd have to see how that one melts up, but that's really good. Um, next is two like cut pieces and another test scent called High Tide. Mm -hmm, if I can open it. Sorry, guys. Oh, oh. Hmm. That is interesting. I've smelled something like that before. Is it like, was there a scent from Bath and Body Works years ago called like Deep Blue? It smells like that. It's like sea grassy, but yet like a floral aquatic. Yeah, hmm. It, it's like, for one second, I'm like, it's masculine, it's feminine, it's not, it's just natural. Hmm. There's a greenness to it, a blueness to it. Hmm. That is very interesting. I'm going to have to melt that one and see. And then the last sample here is purple sandalwood, another test scent. Oh, okay. I have smelled this before with another vendor. This, um, I have melted before too for another vendor. It is sandalwoody. It's good, but for some reason, at least with the other vendor, when I melted it, it ended up smelling lipsticky. And this one does a little bit. So I'm not saying Carla's will, but just that's my experience in the past. I'll have to melt that one up too. But it does, I do definitely get sandalwood from it, but it almost smells like a really good woodsy sandalwood mixed with like a lipstick scent almost. Okay, so my other two doo -doo -doo, customs um, that I did with that Kai oil that I was telling you guys about, this was actually the one that ended up being my favorite. This is called Lounge Towels. And I used Summer Breeze, because that's one of my favorite um, laundry oils. Kai, that orange blossom uh, Tierra flower oil. And Capri Seaside Citrus. That's the Bath and Body Works type. I love it. I've had it singly from Carla multiple times. It's a beautiful, just soft, fresh, like ocean air scent. And this is amazing. Um, I melted this too. This is a crazy strong scent. I get like equal everything in here. Oh, so good. Like at one, at one moment I think, okay, the Capri Seaside Citrus is the strongest, but then I'm like, no, 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 it's the Summer Breeze. No, 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 it's the Kai. It's beautiful. This is like lounge towels. I mean, it smells like once again, you're like at a very high end resort and you're laying under one of those, I don't even know what they're called, but like a canopy thing on like a long chair with fresh rolled towels next to you. It's amazing. I love this. They did such a good job on the ratios. This is, yeah, this is by far my favorite, but once again, I'm like a super freshy and this is I don't even know, would this be laundry? It's like a fresh laundry, but floral. I don't know, that Capri Seaside Citrus changes this up and makes it fabulous. And then my last, my personal last custom here is called Windswept, which is pretty close to Windswept Shores, I think is that other one. This is Swedish Dream Salt. I told you guys I love that oil. Kai, once again, and Wood, Sage, and Sea Salt, Windswept. Mm, I think I melted this one too, but I didn't pay as much attention to it. 
The Kai in this one is really strong, but I definitely get the Swedish Dream Salt and just a touch of um, the Wood Sage and Sea Salt. That is a Joe Malone type, um, which I've owned before and I, I really like. It's very like dry driftwood and sea salt. I love it. Mm, I'm gonna have to melt this one again today. That is beautiful. Oh, so beautiful. Definitely like the Kai and like salty, like true salty ocean air. Really pretty. And then just as an addition, a few months ago, um, I have a friend that lives here in Utah, close-ish to me. Her name's also Danielle, Danny. Um, there was a very popular vendor blend from another vendor that she loved, but it was really hard to get a hold of. And so she asked me if there was um, a way I could help her make a custom of it, like somewhere that she could get it, that she could order it anytime she wanted. And so I said, let's go with Kay's because she always has customs open. Her turnaround time's amazing, blah, blah, blah. So she was really sweet and she named it Danny's Hearth, which is kind of funny because it really could be for either of us. Um, but I gave her an idea. I went through Carla's oils and I was like, I think these three would make that scent. And I think these ratios would make it okay. Um, I'm not going to tell you here what that scent is because it's another vendor's situation. But the, the oils here are Crackling Fire, Apple Fireside, and Lavender. I know that sounds unique. I'm telling you guys, it's amazing. It's really beautiful and very different. But this blend that we were trying to dupe is like one of the best sellers from another vendor. And I'm here to tell you that this is more of a fall scent. Um, it's a beautiful fall evening kind of scent because it definitely has that smoky, crackling, woodsy fire. And then apple, like you definitely get the apple in there, but adds more fireside, so it's apple fireside. And then lavender, it's amazing. So Danny's Hearth, um, and when I, ah, see, I told you guys this tripod is going to do some crazy things. Um, let me see if the, I need to just get a new one. See all my mail wax boxes back there. Um, oh, so when she got her cut bag, she was really sweet and she ordered one for me to send to me. Um, when she got it, she was like, oh my gosh, this smells just like that scent, but a little bit better. And I agree. I agree. It smells like it has the vibe and magic of that scent from the other vendor, but it's it's better for sure. Um, so anyways, that's everything. I'm gonna get this uploaded. Um, I think she's, she has more of these samplers available. And I know there's other people posting on her page right now that they got theirs and they're posting like what their favorites are and everything. A lot of like chatter about it. So um, I just want to tell you guys about it because you know, I love K scented melts. I love the availability, especially that's like the number one thing about K scented melts, but also like customs availability. Also though, the customer service, the wide variety of oils, um, like everything K's is just the place to start in my opinion. Um, and then build from there. So anyways, I hope you guys are doing well. We'll see you later. Bye.